Alrighty, so last week I had a bunch of really awesome people send me their sleeping pads, like literally just package up their personal sleeping pads and ship them to me so I can make adapters for them. Uh, and I thought I'd show off um, inflating each one of these pads using the adapters that I came up with. Uh, each adapter has this little idiosyncrasy, so you can kind of think this is a, think of this video as a tutorial on how to use each one, uh, so you can take uh, a look at how it may be used with your 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 personal pad. So I'm going to be starting off with the Uberlite. Only the Uberlite and the um, Nemo Tensor are my pads. So those are the only pads I'm going to be topping off uh, using my mouth. I'm not going to be putting on my mouth on any of these strangers' pads out of respect for them. Um, it's really cool they sent me them, and I'm not going to be doing anything like that. So they may not get inflated all the way. But let me start with the Uberlite and show you the process one by one. And you may have already seen the Uberlite video. Because that was like the first video I made. But put this camera back. Basically, you have your wing lock twist valve. You're going to twist it open like so. And then we're going to twist it into the deflate position. Um, because in the deflate position, the check valve is open and the pad valve doesn't have to fight the check valve. So it actually inflates faster this way. And then we're just going to pop it on. It can be tricky. Plug in the pad pal, USB-C cable, and then a USB-A cable, or this ends USB-A. And then while it's still running, um, you can kind of hear the change in tone that represents that it's not going to be getting any more air in here really. So while it's still running, you're going to twist your wing lock valve to the close position, and then pop it off, and unplug. And then uh, go ahead and top it off. Usually takes just two breaths, and now it's fully inflated. So let's move on to the Big Agnes. So with the Big Agnes, take your pad pal, and uh, depending on which adapter you get, the adapters are really easy to pop off. You just squeeze them and they come off. Uh, the Big Agnes is gonna be unique. This one has its, uh, uh, its own idiosyncrasy on how to use. So you're gonna pop the adapter on, and you notice you have this tongue on the adapter. And uh, let's open up the valve and let me show you why. So if we take a look down into the valve, we'll see that uh, it, it's a check valve, right? But it has one side of, of the system where you could potentially push it down. What that tongue is designed to do is you're gonna want to insert this like so. So the tongue pushes down on that part. Um, and let me do this with just the adapter first to give you an idea of what it looks like. And if the pad pal wasn't on it, that's what it would look like, right? So that tongue's pushing down on the little valve part. Let me go ahead and pop the pad pal on top of it. Plug this in. And let's start the inflation process. I like to hold it up a little bit to get it started.
out. You hear the, tr the change of tone. You can kind of tell when it stopped. And so just like the Uber light, while it's still running, we're going to go ahead and grasp it by the adapter and pop it off like so. And because I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. And because it's a one-way check valve, um, it doesn't lose any air when you pop it off. Originally, I was going to use the deflate valve to inflate it because it's a little faster. But then the whole messing around with pushing this back on fast enough before you lose air um, just wasn't, wasn't really worth it. So, like so, as you can tell, it's not fully inflated, but it's close enough. It would probably take a couple breaths to get it fully inflated to your desired output. But let's go ahead and move on to the next pad. Uh, let's just pop off this adapter, leave it there. So next up is an Arnett Flash. This is an older pad. Um, and this is the adapter I came up for, the Flash. Um, and this is kind of unique, but it's pretty simple. You do it through the inflate valve. Pop this onto the pad valve. But just like the other pads, through the inflate valve. Push it on, kind of twist to make sure it's seated right. Um, but because this is a flat valve, if you actually do it flat like this, um, it can keep the valve closed. And so I like to create a little bit of distance in a pocket like that, and it'll, it'll inflate that faster that way. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now this pad doesn't have a lot of air volume, so it actually inflates really quick. And the little adapter I made is able to hold that check valve open quite well. And just like that, that one's done. Trying to get a good angle here. Tell this pad doesn't have a lot of loft um, compared to the others, but I still think it's a pretty comfortable pad. I was surprised. Okay, now, cool thing about this is that the REI flash pad and the X peds can use the same adapter. So here's the X ped. Once again, we also are going to be doing it through the um, infl in the inflation valve. With the REI flash pad and the X pad pads, it's kind of easy to kind of twist it back and forth. It's easier to get it on while you twist it back and forth. Go ahead and plug it in. as full as it's going to get. And once again, while it's running, we're just going to grab it by the, um, the pad adapter at the base of the pad pad and pop it off. Pop it up. That one's good to go. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have a uh, Nemo pad. Now this one has a little bit of an idiosyncrasy, kind of like the Big Agnes. Um, I had to come up with a unique way to hold its one-way check valve open. And so let me show that. Let me open up this valve real quick. And you'll notice in the center of that valve, there's kind of like this nibble, right? 
and the center of this adapter is this hole. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get these to print very clearly, so if you do end up with one of these adapters, it's just going to look like this, unfortunately. It doesn't look very nice or professional, but it does work. That's kind of what matters. But when you go to put this on, you're going to want that nipple to go through that center hole, kind of like that. So let's inflate it. Sorry for the shaking, I'm trying to get these good at camera angles, but this little AV tripod I'm using is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, the Nemos do take a little long to inflate. They're probably one of the longer ones. Just because of the way the valve is designed. Um, when you open up that check valve, there's still quite the constriction of how much air can get through it, even when it's open. I suppose it's going to get. And then uh, you can tell this isn't quite that inflated, uh, but it still does only take two breaths, and I'll go ahead and do that because it's my own pad. You can kind of tell they were bigger breaths, but now, now, it's, now it's definitely decent enough. And that's the tensor. Let me go ahead and pop off this adapter. Let me go with this pad. And let's move on to the last pad, which is the old school Thermarest twist valve. The pads, the older Thermarest with the classic twist valve, I believe is what they call it. Push this out of the way. Okay, so here we are at the standard, uh, oh, sorry, the, this is the older Thermarest. A valve style, I believe they call it the classic twist. Um, but this is where the caveat gets into. The pad pal can inflate these pads. However, it requires a special pad pal, and I'm gonna be calling it the pad pal plus. It's essentially the same exact thing. It just has a much more expensive motor in it. It's several times more expensive than the standard motor in it. So it's gonna be a few dollars more. Um, but it just has, it's able to operate at the same speeds uh, under cooler conditions, so the, the motor maintains uh, a cooler temperature operating with the same amount of power. Uh, and so that's required for this pad, or the, or the older thermos pads, because they have this valve on it that really constricts the airflow, and the pad pal is an actively cooled device, so it needs airflow going over the motor to cool it and stop it from overheating. Um, with the standard pad pal, the motor is just not up to spec to be able to do that without overheating. Uh, especially like well, not especially but if you're in like a hundred and in 10 degree weather or something in the Mojave Desert hiking the PCT you'll you'll encounter problems uh, with this motor not so much uh, it's a, it's a spec a little better to encounter to handle those situations and so let's go ahead and push this on uh, but just keep that in mind if you have an older style thermo rest and you want one of these you'll have to get the plus and I still haven't decided how much I'll sell it for but it's definitely gonna have to be a couple dollars more to accommodate the uh, extra price of the motor. Um, we're probably talking like four dollars more or so. But just like all the other pad pals, you plug it in and it, it goes. Um, 
I've made quite a few so far. Uh, I'm probably um, a little over 50 of these things made. I guess it's not quite a few, but it feels like a lot to me. I've never made more than a handful of one item in my little hobby stuff, so it feels like a lot. But it's a much slower inflation process. Even though uh, the motor's running at the same speed, it's just that con air constriction, the, the constriction there is in the valve. Um, you can't get as much air through with an amount of time. And so the inflation process is a little longer. You're probably looking at two and a half minutes compared to like the one and a half minutes or the one minute inflation time that a lot of the other pads have. So can you see now? Can you see the whole thing? Now, if you don't have an older thermo wrist uh, pad, and you're wondering what would the benefit of a PadPal Plus be to you, um, it just operates better in hotter temperatures. So if you know you're going to be in areas that are constantly over 100 degrees, uh, you may want to opt for this one instead. The motors will last longer. Um, on average, these motors last seven and a half hours, where the other motors last five hours. Uh, and that, that's the spec from the manufacturer. I haven't actually tested the continuous runtime on this motor myself yet, uh, but I'll find out shortly. Alright, and that's about as inflated as it's going to get. Um, at this point, you would, while it's still running, just like the other valves, close it. And then power it off. Oops, took the, uh, there we go. That to the side, and there you go. So it's not completely inflated. It would probably take one or two breaths to get it completely inflated. I used to have a Neo Air just like this, so I could definitely tell it. It's only gonna take about one or two breaths. But once again, this is someone else's pad, so I'm not gonna put my mouth on it for uh, respect for them. Uh, but there you go, that's the caveat with uh, having the older uh, inflation style valves with the Thermarest. You'll have to opt for a, a slightly more expensive version of the Pad Pal to make it work. Uh, but I will be offering them on the old gear trade, so if you're interested, go check that out. Uh, thanks for watching.